Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman. So, as you know, we've gotten another sneak peek at the new Superman movie by James Gunn, starring David Cornsweet. And it's really funny because yesterday I was recording a video that I've not <clears throat> yet put out, and what I said in the video was, we're going to do this because we haven't heard any uh, exciting news in pop culture or anything. And then, like, overnight, we got a little bit of news. We got a little bit of a sneak peek. So, maybe I should say that again. We haven't gotten any news. And maybe tomorrow we'll get some more. Um, so, before I get into it, I, I want you to please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding, ding. Really helps out the channel. Really, it just takes a second. Just like it. You know, hit, hit subscribe. As we go, you can comment, you can interact with me a little bit, and I'll, I'll always do my best to comment back and reply in a quick manner. Faster than a speeding bullet, maybe? Hey. All right, so <clears throat> much like I did with the suit reveal um, of Superman, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through some of the um, things leading up to what we've gotten. So as you know, we have gotten the first look at the Kent Farm for the new Superman movie, or maybe as you don't know, now you know. Uh, and I will put the picture up, of course. Uh, but so before we get into what my thoughts are on that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Kent Farms that we've seen leading up to leading up to this. And again, I'm just going to stick with live action. Um, most of the movies and the shows, I'm not going to get into the 1950s versions, uh, so I will be starting with the 1978 Christopher Reeve Superman film. So this, of course, is my Superman. This is the Superman that I grew up with, that I love that is my favorite. So the Kent Farm, as we see here, uh, it's nothing fancy. Uh, you know, we've got the mail, of course, the iconic mailbox that says Kent. Uh, and the farm itself is just a brown, brown building, a few windows, and it's, not, it's nothing fancy. The house is the same. It's really quaint, it's subtle, it's muted. Uh, it is what you would think a farmer and his wife and his child would, would really live in back in the day. Uh, and it's just, it's, and it's it's featured all throughout the movies, and and it is it's a comforting thing to look at them. Not that they necessarily look like they're comfortable to live in, but looking at them, you're like, yeah, that's that's a comf that's a quaint farm. That's a farm that I'm familiar with. It's a farm that I that I like. So that's the 1978 uh, Kent farm. Moving on into Smallville, the Smallville era. So of course that was all about the Kent. So we got more of the Kent farm than we've ever seen before, not including Superman and Lois, which we unfortunately won't see too much more of anyway. Uh, so the Smallville farm and house. Uh, I think this is probably my... F mm. I hate to say it. Like, look, I just said that the 1978 is my Superman is my favorite, but I think... I don't know. I think this is my favorite incarnation of the Kent farm because it is... Not only does it look comfortable and quaint, but it looks warm and welcoming, and I just want to go there, and I imagine... So you've got the red farm building itself, uh, you've got the, the corn silo, uh, you've got the, uh, the, the, the farmland, of course, you've got the tractor, uh, and this is a little bit more interactive, there's a little bit more going on than just the houses. And then, of course, you've got the yellow house where they lived, and now this house, I've always loved it, I've always wanted to see it, because like I look at this house and I think... I would love to walk into that house because I'll bet it smells so good. It smells like apple pie or banana bread or, or like something really good cooking in the oven. Um, and you know you just would feel welcome there because it's just, it's a vibe. It's, a, it's an absolute vibe. I love, I love the color of it. Uh, yellow, there you go. Uh, and it just looks, it looks comfortable. It looks safe. It looks quaint. It looks happy. It looks like a place you'd want to raise a family. Heading on into Superman Returns with Brandon Routh. So this, we kind of move back toward a 1978 version. Of course, Brandon Routh's Superman being a loose continuation off of Superman 2 with Christopher Reeve. So we see that the, the Kent farm and the house is, is, again, it's muted, it's dark, it's run down. Like in Smallville, it looks vibrant, it looks like it's exciting and, and it's taken care of. Where in the 1978 versions and, and the 2006 Superman Returns, it's not that they don't look that they're it's not that they look like they're not taken care of, but it more just looks like they've they've had a life. It's like this you would say that this farm and this farmhouse has been in this family for generations and will be there to stand for generations to come. It's not new. It's not exciting. It's not vibrant, but it is it's home. It's like quaint. It is interesting to look at. But it's certainly not 
as say I don't know I don't know if welcoming is the right word because I would probably feel welcome there but something it's it's just I don't even think run down is the word it's just it's not as I guess vibrant would be it because it is so dark and and old and run down again run down is not the word it's it's lived in it's well lived it's had a life <laughs> All right, moving into the Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, sort of Justice League, Henry Cavill, Superman, Kent Farm, and House. So this is much more... The, I don't know what it is, but this one is more like Americana to me. Maybe it's the American flag hanging up, I don't know. But just the way that the house is, it's just... It's very much indicative of... Like, it's, it's very specific to that location, it looks like. Uh, it's got the trees, right? It's got... It's just got this sort of country vibe like not so much with the smallville house but i look at this house and i think whoever lives there can probably cook a pretty good thing of pancakes <laughs> like you would go in there and be like this is this is cool you could use the, you could use a paint job we'll say but it looks like it could be a bed and breakfast and it, it it's it's sort of warm it's not as warm as smallville but it well the smallville show not smallville it is smallville but it is definitely not as sort of, I'm just going to say it, I mean, it's not as run down as the 78 in the returns. Now the, the farm house itself is just really tiny, it's just a red barn and it's nothing spectacular to look at. I think this is probably more turning into the houses than anything else. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like the Henry Cavill house. I think it needs a paint job, but other than that, it kind of looks like a duck face actually, now that I'm looking at it. So that's interesting. That, that, yeah, the Henry Cavill... Kent Farm house looks like a duck face. It's like the... Huh. There you go. <laughs> Alright, moving right down the list. Now, I couldn't find the Dean Cain one. Um, I couldn't find the Lois and Clark sort of Superman uh, Kent Farm. Any pictures of it online. I don't really remember much about it. I think there was like... There, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there was like a... Uh, uh, almost like the Superman and Lois show, there was a... Um, uh, what are those called? Not a patio, but a porch, a porch uh, around the house with a railing and everything. I think, I feel like that that's right. I don't remember much about it. I remember some of the inside of it and how it was kind of the, the tones were kind of warm, brownish tones. Um, it did, it felt warm. I, I, from what I remember, it was warm. I don't have much to say about it because I don't have any pictures to go by, but uh, I, I do remember some of it. So I'll move right along into Superman and Lois. Now, Superman and Lois kind of brings a little bit of the... Uh, Henry Cavill shape in. Of course, it's got the porch for the farmhouse, uh, and it just it's it looks beautiful. The farm, the barn itself is classic red. It's got the silo in the background, and it's interesting because we don't see quite as much of it as we do in Smallville, just because of the nature of the run of the show. But you do feel at home in this place because this show is directly about Superman living on this farm, um, Superman and Lois and their kids, and so you get an uh, you get a feeling of your home you you're, it's a real environment it is a place where these people have grown up they've made memories there and they are currently in the process of making more memories there so uh, I do like this vibe I like the land it's nice and green and lush um, so I like it I like it I think uh, definitely Smallville so far is my favorite though I think unfortunately sorry Superman 78 uh, and everybody else uh, so that's the Superman and Lois all right and now here we go the main event uh, so, of course, last night we've got, or by the time this airs, might be a couple nights ago, but we had gotten a first look at the Kent farm. Now, from what it looks like, I don't know that there are any pictures of the actual barn, but the house is kind of cool. It's actually, it's got those yellow tones. It's got a little bit of vibrance to it, so it reminds me, it, it's funny, the driveway leading up to it reminds me a little bit of uh, Christopher Reeve Superman, namely some of the scenes that we saw in Superman 4, the quest, the quest for Peace. And then the yellow, of course, gives me the Smallville vibes from the Smallville television show. Uh, and, and the roof is, is looks pretty new. It's red. It's it's kind of... It's actually interesting. It's red and yellow. Look at that. I wonder if there's any blue in there. Oh, there's a blue truck in the background. Look at that. Red, blue, and yellow. Colors of Superman. That's got to be done on purpose. But it is nice. It is a vibe. It's, it is a ranch-style house. So one floor. It actually reminds me very much of my uncle's house in, um, my late uncle's house in Somerville, New Jersey. So it's, I like it. I wonder where this, uh, I don't know if we have information of where it was filmed, but 
I do like it. The fence needs a little bit of work, uh, so you know that's pretty pretty normal for for a farm, I think. But yeah, it's interesting. I, I really like. I really do like the look of this. It's down to earth. It's 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 relatable for me, especially because I've been in a house like that and I've I've grown up in sort of places like that. Uh, not my parents never had a house like that, but like m my family has had house houses like that. My uncle, my cousins, whatever. Uh, so it is relatable. It is. I don't know if it's welcoming. I don't know. I can't tell where the front door is. Maybe that's a problem. Or is that the front door? I don't know. But the windows and the sh in the awnings over the windows kind of make it look angry. So that's interesting. <laughs> no, I like it. Um, it'll be interesting to see it all color graded and all that good stuff. Same with the Superman suit, right? Like we don't know what it's actually going to look like in editing. What the context of that scene was. This is literally not a scene. I don't think it's just a picture of the location. So, yeah, it'll be really cool to see what it looks like on film. I'm really excited to see what James Gunn does in terms of color grading and, and everything. So, that's it. That's the uh, that's the new Superman Kent farmhouse. So, look, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you have anything to say, if you have any memories that you want to talk about, about your favorite farmhouses and over the years, even your favorite shows, please make sure you like, well, obviously like the video but what I was going to say is comment down below and, and let's have a discussion about it uh, but again yes if you did like this video please like it please hit that notifications bell ding ding make sure you catch my last video of the Superman reveal uh, suit uh, suit reveal and what I thought about that and also some of my favorite suits uh, throughout the years but look again thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time